Hello, Chill Computer Guy. Today we're here in Bitwig 2.0. We are going to take a look at a couple of modulators, the ADSR, which is a standard envelope, and then also the AHDSR, which is a standard envelope with a hold. Um, now, both of these modulators have two different uh, modes. If you right-click here, you have a per voice mode, which will re-trigger the envelope with each key you hit. And then if you deselect that, you have the standard uh, envelope there. So let's go ahead and talk about the per voice first. You can see I have an attack, decay, sustain, and release. Now, the thing I don't like about this envelope is these numbers are they're arbitrary 100%. Well, 100% of what? So that's kind of a little bit annoying. Um, and then you have your decay, same thing. It's a percentage. Uh, sustain. Sustain makes sense as a percentage. In other words, you know, 100% is max volume, 0% is uh, complete silence. So that makes sense. And then your release is a percentage as well. So a percentage of what I'm not really sure. But um, what I've done is I've went ahead and modulated the center uh, tone arm of the organ here. Very simple uh, patch here. Just a just a straight initialized patch on the organ here. Let's go ahead and hit C3 and you will see the envelope here slow attack and then you can see it jumps down to the to the sustain level and then if I let go it uh, even though the release is is turned up it's gonna instantly release because we're in the per voice mode so the thing about this mode is each key that I hit is gonna re-trigger the envelope I'm gonna hit three keys uh, and I'm going to start by hitting one and then shortly after hit the second and then the third after that and Take a look over here. You'll see blue dots now the blue dots represent the keys. So let's take a look here And so in the per voice mode you can have you know as many keys as you want and each key will re-trigger that envelope. So if you want to play a chord because you hit all three keys at the same time the envelope is of course pretty consistent all the way through but if you can uh, you can also hit the keys one right after the other And you can see all of them have their own envelope. So as the mode says, per voice. And so that's the per voice mode. Now if you deselect that, you'll have a standard envelope. In other words, if you hit another key, it's not going to re-trigger. And so even though I'm hitting other keys, we are still stuck with the sustain level. Now, the thing about this mode is now your release time will take effect. So if you hit the middle C again, you'll see a slow attack. It'll drop down to the sustain, and then once I let off the key, it will slowly drop back down due to the slow release. And again, that doesn't re-trigger. unless you let off the key and then complete the release cycle. Then you can re-trigger the envelope. So as you can hear, I was adding more keys, but they were playing at the sustain level because the envelope was already triggered. That's the ADSR. Now also this slider right here is the intensity of the envelope so I can back this down and then the envelope will be less intense and then I can also go into negative levels so it's a unipolar to delete the modulation you want to right click and then hit the X and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this up halfway and then I'm gonna modulate to full and then uh, you can see that you can go into negative 
it's going to go into a negative space. So it is positive and then negative. So it's a, it's a unipolar. You can go from negative 100 to 0, which is in the middle, to plus 100. Now, as far as this double arrow here, I have no idea what it does. Um, I guess it inverts the envelope. I don't know. If anybody knows what this double arrow does, you know, leave it in the comments. I have no idea what the double arrow does. Um, the things I don't like about this envelope is the, these percentages. I'm just kind of confused on a percentage of what. And that's the ADSR envelope. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the HDSR envelope, which is the next one. And uh, we'll go ahead and uh, delete this by right clicking. And yeah, we'll move that up to there. We'll double click. We'll reset my parameter. And then let's go ahead and modulate that up all the way. And uh, again, I don't really like this arrow here because to open up the envelope, you could just double click anywhere. I don't like that arrow. It kind of impedes the space a little bit. Now this envelope I actually prefer mainly because now you have actual milliseconds and seconds here. You can see now this attack time is 10 seconds. So you can really tell what's going on with this one. Now you don't have a beats. There's no way you can put this into beats to generate a, a note, a note based envelope. But at least you have numbers that mean something. In other words, that's uh, you know that's your attack time, your hold time, so up to 10 seconds hold, 10 second attack. Uh, the percentage here again makes sense because that's 100% full volume, 0% for uh, zero volume, and then your uh, this would be your your uh, decay level, up to 10 seconds. So it's going to be your attack, your hold, your decay, and then your release time here at the end, and then of course above your your decay is your sustain level. And another great thing about this envelope is you can actually create curves. That's what these little things are. So you can kind of give it a curve. So there it is. You got a. Let's go ahead and go with a uh, five second attack. So 5S. Let's go ahead and hold it for one second. 1S, enter. Let's go 50% volume. Let's go for. Uh, two seconds for the uh, decay time and then uh, now the release time isn't going to matter again because we're in per voice if you're in per voice mode the release doesn't really take effect it should be grayed out but it's not so uh, let's go ahead and try this here we have a really slow attack five seconds And again, if you hit another key, you're going to start that envelope over with a second voice. So that's pretty neat, the fact that you can have multiple voices. And of course the voices are represented by those blue dots and uh, again you can uncheck this per voice as you can see now that we have now that we unchecked per voice we now have just a standard envelope so we're gonna have an attack uh, hold and then we're gonna drop down to the decay time of three seconds and that's gonna drop us down to relatively approximately half the volume and then it's gonna release very slowly let's go ahead and hit uh, the middle middle C and we'll watch this envelope in action. And now I'm going to let go of the key. You can see the tone arm slowly going down and that over 10 seconds takes 10 seconds. So again if you go to S two second attack time how about one S uh, hold time, we're going to go 50%, so go, f actually let's go to uh, 70%, uh, and then it's going to take uh, 2.0 seconds, and then the release time will be 4 seconds, 
So now we've basically dialed in the exact envelope we need. We want an attack of two seconds. We want it to hold for one second, and then we want it to decay over two seconds down to 70% of the original volume. And then once we let go of the key, we want it to go from 70% down to zero over the span of four seconds. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and hit middle C and we'll watch this envelope in action. I'm gonna release the key now. And again the sound cuts out instantly because of the trigger involved with this device. Um, but if we crank up this release all the way There's a four second release time there. So, and again, this is just the intensity in the envelope. Again, it can be unipolar. Uh, you can go into negative levels here. And again, you have this double arrow. I don't know what it does. Um, and that's the uh, AHDSR. So those are the two uh, amp envelopes. Uh, we also have the four stage envelope, which I added to a, a, a short film on that, a short review on that the other day. I will try to leave a link in the description of the video so you can check that out. If not, just subscribe to Chill Computer Guy and you will see it under uh, the four stage envelope. It's pretty hard to miss. That concludes the envelope tutorials. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Um, keep tuning in. We'll have more videos eventually. I'm going to do all the modulators. And uh, please comment, subscribe, tell a friend, and we'll see you guys next week. Thank you.